there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're here in Forsyth Park in Savannah, Georgia, the hostess city, our favorite city to visit here in the southern U.S. and honestly Jocelyn's favorite city in the world. We're going to move here one day because she loves us so much. Caleb's from here. I mean it's just it's a fantastic place. And even a city we love so much, whether you're going to the beach at Tybee or eating the fantastic food, has things you love like that, but also they have things you're not going to like so much. And so what we have for you today are the five things you're going to love and hate about visiting Savannah. So let's get started. Now, the first thing as a tourist you are going to have a love-hate relationship with is the weather. That's why I'm going to start with the first hate is the oppressive summer heat of Savannah. I'm not going to lie to you. The first time I came down here to visit Jocelyn, she worked here for like 10 years, and when I came down to visit her, I flew into Savannah. I'm getting off the airplane and stuff like that. I walk into the nice climate controlled airport. I walked out. It was August. The, hu the heat and the humidity. I'm like, <gasps> I can't breathe. I mean, literally, I thought I was going to die because the humidity and the heat was so powerful. And if you're going to come here in the summer, you'll see July and August, it is extremely hot. So if you are going to come here and muggy, because it is marshland around here. So if you're going to come here in the summer, make sure you are staying hydrated, not just with Chatham Artillery Punch, my friends, and not just with the beers you can walk around town with, but also with water and other drinks because it can get extremely hot and humid here in the summer so be careful with that but honestly if you get a chance to come to savannah outside that really july august like i'm going to die because it's so humid and hot time the weather's fine and i'll talk about that later okay now the second thing you're going to hate about coming to savannah is honestly the crime that is here i'm not going to lie to you i will talk to locals and they'll say you know what we leave our car out on the streets but we don't lock the doors because we don't want people breaking the windows to get in Savannah does have a crime problem. I am not going to lie to you about that, okay? And what you should know, as a tourist, most likely when you're doing stuff during the day, you're not going to have any problems. Don't even worry about it. I mean, keep your eyes open, but you don't really have to, like, be actively worried about it. It is more when you are going out at night and you're going to see things, I would definitely ask your concierge, hey, we're going to go down to River Street tonight. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? And sometimes River Street, not actually a good place to go at night. Other things you might see is different parts of Savannah. It's like good block, good block, bad block good block, bad block, and it's kind of a mix, kind of mix of things. So you do want to ask people about that. Now, the city is trying to do things to make it better and clean things up and stuff like that, but as, as a tour guide and as a tourist kind of person, helper kind of thing, I do want you to know that this crime is a kind of a thing here. So make sure if you've got your car, clean out that car when you, when you park it at night, all your valuables are out of there. Do not give anybody a reason to go in and break into your car. You know, all of these kind of things. So be careful with that. So that's the second thing you're not going to like. Now, the third thing you're not going to like is, well, I'm not going to lie to you. Have you ever seen a flying cockroach? A flying cockroach. Well, it's actually a palmetto bug, okay? The third thing you're going to hate about coming to Savannah are the bugs. Now, I'm here in February, so it's nice and cold for Savannah, which means it's like, you know, late spring weather in Illinois, okay? It's 56 degrees today, and you'll see everyone behind me. They're wearing all this winter clothes. I'm wearing a quarter zip, and I'm like, I'm totally fine. <laughs> but the thing is, here in Savannah, when you come in the summer months, like the six months, seven months of the year that are like summertime, bugs can be an issue. I mean, the local baseball team, they're called the sand gnats because there's sand gnats that bug you, there's flies that bug you, and palmetto bugs. Literally, they're like flying cockroaches going around. And I remember when I came to visit Johnson the first time down here, and we're talking, and this flying thing lands on me, like, ah! <laughs> I mean, those bugs can scare the living Jesus out of you. Also, you worry about mosquitoes and these kind of things. So the bugs do get a little bothersome when you are here. So if you're going to be going around, you know, get some bug spray when you can come. You'll be fine. Um, here in downtown, it's not so much of an issue. But if you're going to go out to Tybee or you're going to go in other parts and see things, that would be something to look out for. Now, the fourth thing you're not going to like about coming here is this place is fantastic for tourists. There's so much to see. There's so much to do from beaches and history and eating that there are a ton of tourists here. And that leads into some of the tourist issues. The biggest problem that tourists sometimes have is how do I drive the squares? This is one thing that the locals hate the most about the tourists is they, they don't know how to drive the squares. I mean, Savannah has got a ton of squares and you drive around and the tourists just go. Look, if you're gonna be driving here in Savannah, which you will, and you're gonna be going around those squares, remember, the people that are already on the square, they have the right of way, okay? So let them go, and then once they go by, then you can enter into the square. So be careful with that. But that's one of the things I see tourists, they're like, I don't know what to do with the squares and all these people walking around, when do I stop, when do I not stop? And the locals are like, stupid tourists, what are you doing? 
just go, you know, and it is kind of a, a funny thing because I have the local perspective and I have the, the tourist perspective, but it is all the stuff with the tourists coming here. I mean, it does get packed. If you're going to come for St. Patrick's Day, it's one of the biggest St. Patrick's Day parades in the world, not just in the U.S., but in the world is here in Savannah. The one year we were here, they had over a million people coming to the St. Patrick's Day parade and you have all these tourists coming in. And so you have the issues to go in with that, like the prices get hogged up and the you know, lodging gets booked out and it's, sometimes it's fought hard to get a, a res reservation at the restaurants and stuff like that. And it does get kind of problematic. But probably as a tourist when you're here, I mean, you'll be able to find a place and all kinds of things. I mean, it's a great city, but all the tourist trappings that come with that, especially, you know, figuring out the, the driving around and stuff like that. And the fifth thing you're not gonna like about coming to Savannah is usually when you go to the, the south, you think, oh, it's gonna be a nice, cheap vacation well the thing is savannah is not necessarily cheap because yes we have all those tourists coming in here and they do drive up the prices to the restaurants they make it tough to get reservations and all these kind of things those things get booked down but i mean really the prices here for hotels and going out to eat and stuff like that it can be a bit more expensive than if you go to other places in the south now the prices here aren't just kind of high because of the tourists i mean that doesn't help but it brings up some but also you have a lot of people that retire in this area that can drive up the prices but also you have the savannah college of art and design which is kind of a love hate with the community because yes they have done a lot to really rebuild and repair a lot of the buildings around town too but also they have a lot of students coming in that are you know doing art school and stuff like that that's kind of hiked up the prices in the housing here in the historic area so that's kind of another thing that kind of raises the price a little bit so that's one thing i will say you might not like about it but let's be honest when you look at savannah this place is fantastic well worth going to i mean the five hates are all things you can kind of avoid when you are coming here so not really a big issue but what are you going to love about savannah because this place is fantastic i mean jocelyn literally if she had a chance to come back here she'd drop my fat butt say bye bye marky bye bye boys i'm going back to savannah she would totally do that to us. So, what are the five things you're gonna love about coming to Savannah? Now, I'll be honest, the first thing you're gonna love about coming to Savannah is the Savannah atmosphere and architecture. This place is true Southern charm, whether it is the food, whether it is the people, whether it's how they treat you. I mean, there's a reason why they call it the hostess city. This place is made for tourism and the people really live it up. And you go there and you, when you go see the historic homes, you know, the Juliet Gordon Lowe for you use that, you know, that we're in Girl Scouts, they have that, the Mercer house there's so many historic places you can go around here or where there's historic duels or you want to see a ghost tour they have that here there's so much that makes this kind of atmosphere out here whether it is you know the the, the squares and the parks that are here the spanish moss hanging down you have a definite definitive savannah feel when you come here in the atmosphere i mean charleston's kind of cool but savannah is something different okay and there's something about that, that that kind of atmosphere and that spirit and with the architecture that is here the city has really done a great job in historic preservation to rebuild the history of savannah so if you want to show your kids or you want to see what old old south was like you can see the buildings here and you know what if you want to go and take a steam train they have like they have a roundhouse here they rebuilt a roundhouse it's a train thing it's really cool and you can take a little like train ride the historic museum there is awesome too gives you a nice background but they have all this great atmosphere and the people have pride in this city these people say i am from savannah i am savannah i am. i mean it's just amazing how much they love their city and that's great for a tourist because the people help you they tell you oh yeah you know you can go to lady and sons that's you know paula dean's place but if you want the real southern like tourist food you need to go to mrs wilkes and all these kind of things and this atmosphere is great and the architecture and the just the look of the city just make it a fantastic place that's why that's the first thing you're gonna love is the atmosphere and the architecture now the second thing you're gonna love about coming here is all the really cool stuff there is to do here yes i did say the historic homes you can go visit the ghost tours you can go to at night i do recommend doing those they are really freaking fun to do i mean this is one of the hauntedest cities in america it is cool but also if you don't want to do the history or you do history you want to try something else like i want more to it they've got great bars they got there's breweries here you know you can go there and check those out but also 15 minute drive from downtown you're at tybee beach so your kids can get history and you can get history here in savannah and then you can go have your beach vacation out at tybee or maybe you want to take a, you know want to go see charleston it's a two-hour drive away there's a lot of great stuff to do here in savannah that's what's the second thing is it's not just a historic center that we hear about it's all the great stuff around here you know for kids for adults for all kinds of things from drinking to history to to, to the beach to all kinds of great things so that's the second thing you're going to love now the third thing you're going to love about coming to savannah is the people like i said southern hospitality is a real thing you want to learn about the south things that'll shock you go 
watch our 10 things that'll shock you about the South, and I will talk about Southern hospitality. And Savannah is no different. This place puts on the Southern charm over the top. Whether it's your concierge is gonna be helpful to you, whether it's when you go out to eat, whether it's you're going on the tours, the trolley tours, I highly recommend you doing that because they give you the history. They give you all kinds of great stuff about the city, so you like get this really great feel of it. And the thing is, the people are wonderful. You make eye contact with people and they say, hey, how are you? You know, you go to the store like, hey, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. You, you go, yes, ma'am, thank you, man, thank you, sir. You, know, you have this really kind of polite, wonderful southern nature here. And the people are fantastic. And the people, they're characters. You go to the bars, you meet the locals, everybody's got some crazy story when you're here. Because this city is a collection of crazies. And it is such a wonderful thing. Because yes, there's some craziness here. But there's really great heart in this town when you get to meet the locals and hang out with them. And the thing is, there's people, people from all over the U.S. that come here. People from all over the world come here. And they all get to kind of melt together in the savannah and it really opens up their heart and that's one of the things I mean I know it's the number three love I have on here but honestly that's what my wife loves the most about this is the people and for me too I mean I come back here because I love meeting the people here it is a fantastic city and for tours that's a great thing the people the hospitality the helpfulness you can't beat it and then we go to number four is those helpful niceful people also help you find the best food around and that's the fourth thing you're going to love about coming to savannah is the eating because the thing is we hear about the paula deans and mrs wilkes for that really good southern food yes that stuff is good but those are like more popular places there are so many great restaurants and great places to eat and drink and make merry here in savannah and the food here is fantastic whether you're having soul food you're having like fried chicken and mac and cheese and and, and fried okra and shrimp and grits oh my god all this great food but we're on the coast so you can have oyster po boys if you meet some locals or you meet some people and they're doing an oyster grill or an oyster, sorry if they're doing an oyster roast you get a chance to do that oyster roast these kind of things it is awesome go get some shrimp there's all kinds of places on the waterfronts like in the in the intercoastal and stuff like that well you'll go and they're like now nah, we don't have hutch we don't have fries so we've got beer wine and then the fish we find that day and they cook it up and they serve it to you on a newspaper and you have this fantastic seafood when you're here i mean so you got the traditional southern fares right oh my god like shrimp and grits I, I i'm sorry i love shrimp and grits i can't stop my throat i'm drooling the food here you know the fried chicken all the stuff but then you get this the the the, the fresh fish i mean my wife literally lived about i don't know two blocks from the intercoastal and we would go and we would go and buy shrimp and we buy stuff for a fraction of the price so you can get great seafood here at a decent price i know it's kind of expensive here but for the seafood and stuff like that you can get a great price so the food here definitely one of the awesome things so that's number four and the fifth thing you're going to love about coming to savannah is i know i said that love hate relationship with the weather it is the weather and the thing is you can come and enjoy savannah all year round i know i said it's kind of oppressive in august so that might be not the best one but you can enjoy the city all the time they look it's beautiful here at christmas time we came here we come here usually every thanksgiving so we can see the the parade of ships in the in the river where they have like kind of like a thanksgiving christmas barge light up parade come here at saint patrick's day oh my god this place has one of the biggest saint patrick's parades in the world it is a great time when you come here also the savannah music festival which is like late march early april there's so many things going on all year round and the weather works perfectly i'm here in the one of the coldest days of the year and it's like 50 degrees okay like they're like oh it's gonna be really cold tonight it's gonna get to freezing like wait i left chicago where i'm going it's six degrees they got like a foot of snow they're like oh we could never think of that here it's just the weather is great and it really you can understand why a lot of people come here and retire because you could come enjoy the weather any time of the year so i definitely can say it's the weather is one of the things you are going to love except for that oppressive heat in august I ain't gonna lie to you, that stuff just was not cool, all right? So those are the five things that I love and hate about coming to Savannah. What are some of yours? Please put in the comment section below if you have some things you love and hate. Where do you think we should eat? Where do you think you should, other people should go? What was your favorite historic home? All these great things. And if you wanna learn more, 10 things to see here in Savannah, five things you love and hate about the South, 10 things that'll shock you about the South, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that fun stuff. I am gonna go back into town and have myself a big piece of pie. I'm going to have myself an oyster po' boy, and of course, maybe a few drinks along the way. Chatham Artillery Punch, got to try it when you are here. Head over to the Pirate's House, have their, their pecan and crescent chicken and the dog. Oh, I'm going to, you can see, before Savannah, after Savannah, it changes you. Anyway, have a great time here in Savannah. We love you all. Thank you much for all your support throughout the years, and we'll see you later. Bye from Savannah.